Hello there, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips that have to do with the copy command. I mean, let's face it, don't we all use the copy command every day, all the time, all day long? So what if I could show you a tip that removed even one step from what you do all day long? See, that would be a beautiful thing, right? Let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at all the different ways that we can copy, right? We'll start off with the basic one. We're going to go into the copy command, right? Go into the copy command. It asks me to select the objects. I'll do that. You guys are all pros at doing this. I know that. And in most cases, we will grab a base point and we'll make a copy of that object in maybe more than one if we feel like it, right? Okay, let's take a look at a couple of extra options in here. I'm just going to zoom in just a little bit on here. Let's go back into the copy command. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this object right here, which happens to be one of the copies that we made, right? And as you'll see on the screen, there's actually a default of displacement that most of us don't think about. Most of us just create a base point and then go on our way. We can actually key in a displacement value. If I want to make a copy five units over, I could say five comma zero, hit an enter, an extra enter, that's the trick, and it will actually make a copy of that object five units over to the right, five in the X, zero in the Y. That's another option as well. You don't have to pick a base point. If you just want to tell it the distance, you want to copy it. And along with that same thing, let me go back into the copy command one last time, right? Um, grab this, the, the copy that we just made. If I wanted to make a copy five units over to the right, I could also make a base point, move my cursor in the right direction, and just type in a value of five using that direct distance information. So that's another option, something else for everybody to think about. So there's a few different ways that you can tell AutoCAD exactly how far you want to copy the object. And that's using the copy command. All right, let's see what else. Let's, uh, let's pick something else to work with. Huh? Let's work with that cool car. So I'm going to grab that cool car, and I'm going to do a right click, and I'm going to drag that cool car over here into the middle using the right mouse button, the right mouse button. And you'll see that when I do that, I get this nice little menu that says move here, copy here. Let's say I want to copy it, and then we're done. So if that's a real easy way of doing it too. You just grab any object using the right mouse button. Just move one or more objects to wherever you want them to be, and you can uh, and ultimately move them or copy them. You could paste them as a block, but I'm not sure why we want to do that. Okay, what else? Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my car and do a right click. Let's take a look in the menu. You'll see that there's an option for copy selection. Oh, all right. I just have to pick the base point or displacement either way, and you'll see that it allows me to basically make plenty of copies. Same idea. So it's basically executing the copy command behind the scenes, but you're doing it from the right-click menu. All right, what else? What are other ways of doing it? Let me go ahead and grab my car and do a right-click, and you'll actually see here an option for clipboard. So of course we can copy objects to the clipboard and then we can paste them. I do want to point one thing out here. Here's a copy. Of course we know that's control C. And um, when you do the copy, you do not get to pick what the base point is on the object. And maybe you need to know the base point or you need to respecify it. In that case, there's an option where you can copy with a base point. We'll take a look at that. That's shift control C. And of course, Paste is control V, and if you want to paste it as a block, feel free to do so. That would be control shift V. All right, but let's just do it without our menus, okay? So I have my object selected, right? And I'm going to do a copy to the clipboard, and then I'm going to move my cursor somewhere, and I'm going to do a paste, and you'll see it doesn't let me pick where the base point is. I'm just going to have to use the one that decided that it was worthy of, and I'll go ahead and pick where I want to put it. All right, so that's control C and control V, right? That's easy enough. All right, now let's specify the base point. I'll zoom in here so we get a good shot on here. Once again, select the object, and I'm going to do shift control C. Got to be coordinated for that. And now it's asking me where I want the base point to be. I'm going to put that right in the middle of the car. I hope they didn't miss it. And then I'll move my cursor over a little bit, do control V, and there it is. You'll see there's the car using the base point that I told it that I needed to use, right? Let's go ahead and put that on there. And there it is. So that is quite a few ways of copying objects, right? The copy command and using the right click menus, using the right click on your mouse and doing a copy and paste. And then don't forget that cool one, that shift control C that allows you to also specify a base point. So hopefully somewhere in there, you'll find a tip that you're gonna try the next time you use the copy command, which is probably gonna be any minute, right? Because we use the copy command all the time. So thank you so much for joining me and I'm gonna see you back here in two more weeks.